So when is it a good time to buy a home? Anytime is a good time to buy a home. I know you're thinking, like, of course, well, all real estate agents are going to say that, but it's true. Let me give you a quick example. My dad bought this house here in 1962 in San Jose, California. And I remember he bought it for $10,000. And I remember him one time telling me when I got older that he was stressing out how to make that $89 a month mortgage payment. I, I know that ship has sailed a long time ago, okay? But the point is this throughout the 60 years, okay, now it's 60 years later, the home value went up and went down and went up and went down and went through the recession. And 60 years later, $10,000 turned into 1. Point, I think 1.1 last time I checked. And that's the thing, your home is always gonna appreciate. There's a real estate mentor I follow. Um, in fact, he, he actually is talking to us agents about how to educate or, or clients as far as how this actually works. And this little short video he was showing us, he actually is so crisp, so clean, so he, he simplified it so much, I thought I'd share it with you. Now he's a little rough around the edges, uh, kind of in your face, because he's actually talking to us. But I think you'll see exactly how this works. Just Check this out for a few minutes and uh, I'll be right back. Now, uh, here's some stats that I saw actually on CNBC the other day uh, from a company called the National Association of Realtors. Uh, I generally consider their information pretty relevant. Uh, pending home sales are way down versus the last month. Now, this is the second month in a row that that's happened. Year over year, meaning this month compared to this month last year, down 20% and continuing to go down. And this little company called the National Association of Realtors anticipates that to continue happening as the feds have physically said, we want to bring down the price of everything. We want to bring down home prices, slow down the market, and ultimately make things more expensive for people to buy so they won't buy so much. That includes houses, cars, using your credit card. All of those fees are going up so that they can slow the market. Big deal. If you've been doing this a long time, you know we have ups and downs. We know that happens. But here's what you got to understand. And, and this is, I should have um, uh, kind of give you a preface to this. A lot of buyers are saying, you know what, I want to wait for home prices to go down. I understand we're going in a recession. We're in a recession. Some say we're in a recession. Some say we're not. I'm going to wait on prices to go down before I buy. You will pay more for your house if market values go down. Be very clear about this when you're educating your consumers. They will pay more money if prices go down. Oh, homes are going to go down by $50,000. It will cost you more than that. It will cost you more money if you wait. Well, how do we figure that? Well, if you go to a simple little website that's free called mortgagecalculator.org, you can show the comparisons here. What you see is three different lines. I think you can see my cursor. So three columns, top to bottom. Let's say that home right now, it's 123 Main Street, okay? Four bed, two and a half bath. It's, it's 123 Main Street. It's $500,000. If you could get, and I know rates are varying, they just went up again, they're gonna continue going up according to the feds. But let's say it were 6% on a 30 year, lo on a 30 -year loan. You're paying $29.97 per month, which means you're paying $5.79 in interest. The money costs you more than the house does. Well, I'm going to wait. I, I love this house at 123 Main Street, but I'm going to wait on prices to go down. Maybe if it goes down to 450. Well, the only way it's going to go down is if rates go up. The reason it's going down is because people can't afford it anymore. So the only way it goes down by 50 grand is if rates go up. And by the way, we're already past here now, thanks to the feds. Still a 30 year loan. Oh, you got it for 450? Congratulations. Now you're paying more every month. It costs you more to own that house, and it's an extra $75,000 over the course of the loan. What did you save? Well, let's say that, oh, I'm going to wait on to really crash. I think the market's going to crash, which it's not, but let's say it crashes. It goes all the way down to 425. Okay, well, at 425, you know why it went down even lower? Because rates went even higher. Congratulations, now that you got it for almost $100,000 cheaper, you're paying $3,100 a month instead of $2,900. Oh, you won, didn't you? You're paying $700,000 for the loan. How much was the house again? You're paying seven hundred grand for the loan. This is on mortgagecalculator.org. You, uh, you have to show your consumer, the buyers and sellers, you have to educate them that the money costs more than the house does. You buy when rates are low, not when prices are low. How many people have you talked to? They say, oh, we're just going to rent for a while. The real estate market is crazy. Oh, yeah? Well, we have this thing what we call a 30-year fixed payment. When you sign your lease on your rental, are you going to ask them for a five-year fixed? Oh, no, it's not fixed. How often will they increase your rent? 
5% every single year, you are signing up so that 10 years from now, you're paying 50% more money. Ask your mama, she used to pay $400 a month for rent. You can lock in your monthly payment and own the freaking home. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're saying, wait a minute, he just said the best time to buy a house is when interest rates are low, which is true, but that was a year and a half, two years ago. Today, as we know, interest rates are a little bit higher. In fact, I predict, I could be wrong, but in about, before the end of the year, I think we're gonna see double digits interest rates, 10, maybe even 11%. Again, I'm just guessing, I, hopefully I am wrong. But that's the point, did you see what happened, what he said just before I cut off the video? He said, lock in your rate, lock in your rate. So basically, if you can afford to buy a home today, buy a home today. If you can afford to buy a home six months from now, buy a home six months from now. If you can afford to buy a home a year from now, interest rates might be whatever, 9.5% that time. Well, lock in your rate at that time because what's gonna happen is as interest rates continue to rise, you just locked yourself in, so you protected yourself. And when interest rates come back down, yes, when they do, they will eventually, nobody knows exactly when, but sooner or later they're gonna come down, guess what, you can always refinance at that time. And that's what he meant by he said, ask your mama, because if you ask your mama, if, you're, if your mom has been renting for 10 years, uh, from you know from 10 years ago, she's gonna tell you, hey, my landlord keeps raising the rent. And depending where you are in California, it could be five, six, or even 7%. And the thing is, rents, you can't negotiate rent, you can't buy down rent, you can't refinance rent, rent is rent. And every time you make a, a cut of a rent payment to your landlord, what you're actually doing is you're actually making his mortgage payment on his investment home. And not that I have anything against landlords, but when was the last time, if you're renting, when was the last time your landlord actually sent you a Christmas card and said, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Tenant, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking such good care of my home. And as it continues to build equity, you're also making me very wealthy. And in fact, in two years, the home will be paid off and I just might give it to my grandson as an inheritance or something like that. Is that gonna happen? No, of course not. So rather than you making his mortgage payment, go out and get your own mortgage. In fact, call your lender. If you don't have a lender, I'll, I'll be for you mine. She's a great lender. They have all kinds of loan products. They want you to buy a home. You can actually buy down your interest rate. If you have a little extra money, you just apply it towards the loan and they'll actually work that out for you where rather you paying whatever the mortgage payment will be at that time, you can actually buy it down maybe a quarter of a point, half a point, even maybe a whole point. Or if you have a really good real estate agent, he can actually negotiate that the seller credit you back 10 or $15,000 and you can apply that towards buying down the interest rate. Now, if you want to get really crazy, the same co coach, uh, same real estate coach, Greg. This is this. I saw this on his website. And he's not being facetious. Is actually this is he's true. If you if you want to get this deal going, just call me, let me know, and I'll actually contact him, and we got a deal going. He says he'll give you two twenty. I think I can't see it from here, but it's twenty twenty interest rate prices. I think the interest rate back then was three point six percent. He'll give you a three point six percent interest rate if you pay eighty thousand dollars above the market value of the home. So no matter where you are in the country, if you can buy a home and you want to pay whatever the market price is, pay $80,000 more, you'll get that rate. And it's not, like I say, it's not being facetious. That's the way it works. When interest rates are low, you're gonna actually pay a lot more for the home. When interest rates are a little bit higher like they are today, as you can see, prices are starting to drop a little bit around the Bay Area. So basically, you got two choices, like the lesser two evils. You either get a really low interest rate and you'll get a nice, comfortable mortgage payment, but then you'll be paying boogle bucks for the house, or like today, you're gonna pay a little bit more in interest. It might be a little uncomfortable at first, but you'll get a really great deal on the house, and then when the interest rates come down, you simply refinance at that time. I personally feel the latter is the better option. So, what did you learn today? When is it a good time to buy a house? Anytime is a good time to buy a house, but I'm gonna put a little disclosure here. Anytime is a good time to buy a house, but buy a house when you're ready. Bam, that's how we do, say that's how we do. That's how we do.